my channel. My name is Chrissy and you are watching Is It Worth It Wednesdays. Today I'm going to talk about two products and compare for you and tell you which one I think is worth your money. Now today we have the Cricut Sports Flex Iron-On in red and we have the Sizer Easy Weed HTV in bright red. The reason why I chose these two items is because HTV is something that I work with pretty often and I know a lot of other people work with these pretty often. And since we have two similar products with two very different price ranges, I decided to give them a test and see which one I think works better for my money and for your money also. So. Let's go ahead and talk about these products and what makes them different and what makes them pretty much the same. Now, what we have is Stretch HTV and also what Cricut likes to call Sport Flex, which is basically the same thing. This is Cricut's new brand. It just came out, um, I want to say a couple months ago. And the reason why I believe they came out with this product is because Sizer and others have had stretched HTV for a long time now. Um, and the reason why you would want to purchase stretch HTV over any other regular iron-on vinyl is because those of us that like to wear form-fitting shirts or shirts that fit true to size would like to have a little pull in the vinyl. You don't want to place a vinyl on a shirt that when you put it on, you can see the pull marks on it or, you know, if it fits a little snugly, um, can have the potential to kind of lift the vinyl if it's not stretchable. So this is the reason why you would want to put it like Cricut put Sport Flex. Because a lot of people who work out wear form-fitting clothes. So this is supposed to help last longer and stretch with your clothes as well as the Sizer HTV claims to do as well. So here you have two products. Your Cricut is $12.99 in Michaels and your Sizer is $19.99 at Michaels. Now that's a pretty big price range, especially for the amount that you get because in the Cricut you get 24 inches of iron-on and with the Sizer you get 36 inches. So you are paying for the difference in the amount that you get. However, in Michaels, if you do decide to buy Cricut, and I believe even in Joann's and Hobby Lobby, they do not accept manufacturer coupons for this product. So unless you're going specifically for a sale, um, then you're gonna pay the price that Cricut has these items out for. Michaels right now does have a sale going on on Cricut items, so you could buy one, get one 50% off, so it could be worth it in the long run if you want to go and do that. Um, however, Sizer, they do accept manufacturer coupons, so even though the price range for this is a little bit higher, you do get more and you get 40% off. So instead of paying $19.99 for one roll of 36, you end up getting, I believe, $8 off, which will bring your product down to $11.99 plus tax. So. If you just compare these two based on that alone, you get more product for less money with this one. I don't know, what do you guys think? Let's go ahead and move on and actually go ahead and talk about application. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to cut out an image of my Cricut with using both of these and I'm going to apply one to one shirt and one to another shirt and then I'll come back and I'll tell you what I think works better for me if it was the Cricut brand or the Sizer brand. It's easier to weed. Was it Sizer or Cricut? You get the gist. You understand what I'm trying to do here, right? So I hope that this video is something that you want to see. If it is, then keep on watching and I will be right back. So I'm getting ready to cut the two vinyls and straight off the bat, just by feeling them, I can tell that the Cricut is a little bit thicker in the feel of it and the sizer is definitely a lot thinner so when I cut it we will see if that makes any difference at all so we have our Cricut on the top and our sizer on the bottom and we're gonna put it in the Cricut and get started
So both of the images have been cut. Now, before I take them off my mat, I wanna just show you guys what it looks like after it's been cut because there is a huge difference between the two and the way that they both cut. All right, so let's take a look just to show you. Remember what I said that the top one was the Cricut and the bottom one was the Sizer? If you look closely at the way the Cricut one cut, it looks pretty great, it looks good. Um, it's pretty smooth and you know, you can see the lines, but take a look at Sizer and the way it cut. Do you see a bunch of the little pieces peeling up? Now I'm not sure if it's the actual letters that are peeling up or the pieces that need to come off anyways. And I'm not sure if that has anything to do with the machine or the blade that I have, but I just wanted to show you the difference between the two and the way that they cut. So I'm gonna take them off the mat now and start weeding them and I'll tell you if I see any difference in the way that they weed. All right, we're gonna start with the Cricut brand first and see if I feel any anything in the way that it weeds, if it's difficult to weed. Weeding pretty easy guys. I haven't had to use my tool yet, but I'm sure I'm gonna have to use it for the little pieces in between. Considering how I initially told you that um, it did feel thicker than the sizer, the actual vinyl itself does feel pretty thin to the touch. So it could just be the um, transfer paper that's on the thicker side. able to weed or anything like that it was fairly easy nothing that was supposed that wasn't supposed to peel peel up peeled up so I'm pretty happy about that I'm gonna go ahead and weed the sizer now and see if there's any issues So as you can see, I went and weeded the Cricut brand vinyl the same exact way I'm doing the sizer. And as I was pulling the HTV up, this one lifted off the sheet. And that didn't happen with the Cricut brand. So, you know, that's something to take into consideration. I mean, it doesn't damage it at all, but we are trying to compare and contrast what's different between the two and that's definitely something that didn't happen when I weeded um, the Cricut Sport Flex. <music> Sizer vinyl that I'm trying to weed out and for some reason my Cricut machine didn't cut it all the way again I'm not sure if it's an issue with my blade or if it's just the way that the vinyl is but now I'm gonna have to pull up this piece of vinyl and hopefully it doesn't ruin my image. So I'm 
I'm not happy about that because now I had to pull it off and it's getting all messy. This is actually kind of surprising because I didn't think I was going to have any issues, but that's why we're doing this test so I can show you guys and what will or will not go wrong. Here we have both images. We have the Cricut and we have the Sizer. And this one, the Cricut brand, I was able to weed like a dream. There was no issues whatsoever. Pieces of the actual vinyl that I wanted to keep didn't lift up. During the cutting, none of the pieces frayed. It cut super smooth on the Cricut. And however, the Sizer brand did not. The Sizer brand left a bunch of frays um, when I cut it and there was an actual piece that didn't cut all the way and now It's lifting up and it's not gonna look right when I put it down. Hopefully it will but We'll have to see So now it's time for the application. I have two onesies here that I'm going to put My design on or the design that I cut out. I have a size 12 months that I'm going to use the Cricut brand on and I have the newborn that I'm going to use the Sizer brand. So I always like to press down on my shirt or a piece of clothing first to warm it up. Once I get it all warmed up, then I put lay my vinyl down exactly where I want it because there's a bunch of stuff that I like about the sizer and there's a bunch of stuff that I like about the Cricut. So let me go ahead and just run everything down for you and then at the end I'll tell you which one I think is worth your money. So let me show you first of all what the shirts look like now that they're completely finished. This one is the sizer and this one is the Cricut brand. So like I said before, the dark red was the Cricut and the bright red is the sizer and you can clearly see which one is brighter than the other. However, to the touch, they both feel pretty similar. The sizer is really soft. Um, you can feel and notice that there's vinyl on there, but it's matte in color. It's not shiny whatsoever. Um, it does have enough pull to it it has the stretch. It doesn't look like, you know, it's about to pull, peel off or anything like that. So that's really good. Now, the Cricut um, is a little shinier in the finish. So I guess that just depends on your preference. But the same thing goes with the stretch. It stretches really well. Um, doesn't look like it's going to pull up at all. Um, and I mean, it feels good. It's not bulky. It's nice and smooth. So, I mean, I did put these on baby onesies so you don't have to worry about it scratching them or being uncomfortable. It feels just like the piece of clothing. So, let's just run everything down. 
I'm just gonna go ahead and say that I think I like the Cricut brands a little bit more. Now, the reason why I wanna say that is because I love the way that the Cricut brand was able to weave. It was super easy. There was no pieces that lifted up when it cut um, in the Cricut. Um, I'm really upset and I'm sad that the Sizer brand wasn't as easy to cut. Um, it's really, it's a small detail in the shirt, but I wanna just show you this is the Cricut and this was the piece that got stuck on the sizer. So if you look at the Cricut, it looks super pretty, nice and sleek. And then this is what happened with the Cricut, with the, Cric with the sizer brand, I'm sorry. This is the Cricut and this is the sizer. So you could see what happened. It didn't cut, cut correctly. So it's not exactly as smooth as it should be. It's not a big detail, but if you're working on something for a client or you're working on something for yourself or as a gift, those are things that you don't really want to risk. You don't want to risk having to waste any vinyl or recutting it or having any issues with it weeding. Um, you don't want to have a sloppy job. You know, you don't want anything to look messy. You want everything to look nice and neat. So that's something that pushes me away from the Sizer brand because um, that's just me and I'm a little bit picky and you know maybe if I use it more I will see you know changes maybe it was the, the, the image I used but I use the same image for both so you tell me what you think in the comments do you think is that something that would bother you with the Sizer brand or is it something that you could look past? Considering all that, like I said, I think Cricut won because although Cricut brands is a little bit expensive um, on the expensive side and you don't get to use the 40% off coupon, they are always having sales. Like I said, there's a sale going on right now. You can buy one, get one 50% off. So you can choose two different colors. If you wanted to go to Michael's and on the run, go and get a color from Sizer, you can definitely do that and use your 40% off. You do get a little bit more product. For me, you know, that is something that um, is also a good point because who doesn't love more products for the same price? I'm just gonna go ahead and say that Cricut, you won me. And no, this isn't a sponsored video. Um, I don't get paid for doing any of these videos. This is just my opinion and how I feel personally about the products comparing the two. So yeah, I hope that you really enjoyed this video. I hope this video helped you in choosing which one you know you should get and you should use. Obviously, this is just my experience and this one-time use comparing both of the products. I do use both occasionally um, and I love to go back and forth. So whichever one works for you, but I hope you enjoyed watching this video and that this video was helpful to you in any way, form or fashion. If you have any ideas, you want to see something else in relation to this, then please let me know in the comments down below if this video was helpful to you. Which one do you prefer? Do you prefer Cricut or Sizer? Let me know. Did you have the same experience as me um, with the way that the sides are cut? I would love to know um, what your experience was if you decide to do your own comparison. So please let me know in the comments down below. Please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit that like button if you like this video and be sure to hit that um, notification bell so that you are notified every time I upload a new video. Thanks again for coming by and watching me on Chrissy's Craft Room. I'm so happy to be here and I hope that you guys come back again. Thank you so, so much.